everybody, it's time for the On Your Now Show, and it's Woke Wednesday. Lady O, let's go. Let's go, Tracy. Good morning, good morning, everyone. It's time for Woke Wednesday. I am your host, Tracy Bray McGee, also known as Divine T. And I'm your co-host, Yolanda Langford, and you know what they call me, Lady Yo. Lady Yo, that's hey. right, y'all. That's my Lady Yo. Yes, yes. <laughs> I got a whole song for it. <laughs> it's Women Empowerment Wednesday, Lady Yo. What you sipping on? What's in your cup? I'm sipping on some orange spice tea. You know, it's real simple. Slice an orange, Pour the water, hot water on it. Drizzle it with a little spicy, because I'm a spicy girl. That's right. Drizzle it with a little spicy honey and take a sip. All right now, all right now. Well, you know, I'm representing the Black Coffee Company. Yes. And I'm drinking my coffee black, no sugar, no cream. Every day. Every day. Every day, as we say (laughs) in the STL. Well, you know, today is Woke Wednesday. We have to check on our strong friends. Who are we checking on today? We are checking on grandmothers, godmothers, and special aunties. You know, you can always be a special auntie, even if you're not blood related to somebody. That's right. (laughs) I have a lot of special aunties. I want to call them special aunties, but you know who I'm checking on? Who are you checking on? The play aunties. Okay. The play mamas, the baby mamas, and the bonus mommies, you know, and the mommies that are raising teenagers. Oh, Lord. Speaking of raising teenagers, (laughs) uh, we had quite the party house when my girls were uh, teenagers, so... uh, I know all about what teenagers get into, but they had a bunch of fun. I bet they did. You know, you are probably what the cool mom, you know. Well, thank and, you, darling. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, I know we have a guest that's coming up, and I want to kind of talk about her, but I'm going to just segue into it. Speaking of teenagers, did your kids come home with, like, piercings and tattoos and uh, all kind of stuff like that? Well, let me say this. You know, my kids knew I was very strict when it came to the piercings and the tattoos. But they grown now, honey. I don't know what they have. (laughs) Okay, okay. How about your kids? Well, I wasn't as strict, uh, (laughs) but I did try to put some limitations, but I, you know, I'm all about expressing, expressing yourself. Yes, yes. So I remember um, when one of my daughters came home and uh, she had, she had the navel ring. Oh, yes. Yes, you know, and uh, she didn't tell us, we just kind of saw it. Um, and then I had another daughter, my other daughter, she got the nose piercing. And they say like one little tear comes out. Oh. And um, we were there for that. But you know what? I absolutely love tattoos. So you do. I have this tradition in my family and we all of us have the onk symbol. Okay. Me and my daughters, we all have it in different places. I must admit that middle daughter of hers is huge. Oh, but let me ask this, does it hurt? What? When you get the tattoo. Girl, yes. <laughs> Ain't no pain, ain't no gain. Okay, okay, Does okay. It, it hurts when you get perms and all that other yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. But we make it happen, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Well, I love it. I think that it's important that um, we are able to express ourselves. Uh, but speaking of tattoos and the value of what we're doing today, we have an amazing guest that's coming on. Our vibrant vibe guest is the Valencia Miller. She's the owner and artist of Onyx Dagger Tattoo Gallery. Woo-wee. You know, <laughs> but first, we got to get ready for the On Your Now Cup of Therapy. It's sponsored by Keys Realty STL. At Keys Realty Group, we're focused on helping you in the home buying and selling process. Standing with you every step of the way so you can own a new home or sell your existing home successfully. Budgeting, credit building, and down payment. Everything you need to know about the home buying and selling process. We're not just selling you a home in the community. We are helping build communities. By keeping focus on you and your needs, we can put you in a home for a lifetime. Keys Realty Group, selling communities one key at a time. It's not about exact measurements or the perfect dice when it comes to cooking. 
Good food is about feeling. Inspired food is about comfort. And pure food is about feeding the soul. You have to have soul to feed people right. So pull up a chair, take a taste, and let Pure Catering do the cooking. Visit Pure Catering Cafe STL at the Missouri Historical Society today. I'm Valencia, the owner artist of Onyx Dagger Tattoo and Art Gallery. Keep watching the Own Your Now show on the Ah TV network. And we're back, and now it is time for our Own Your Now cup of therapy. My affirmation word for today is self expression. Yes, I like that. Self expression. Express yourself. You okay? know that song? Express, Express yourself. yourself. Yeah. Do what you got to do. <laughs> I don't know the words. I Boy, can't tell, tell you. you. Who we'll sock, sock it to? <laughs> yeah, it's. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think that it is so important um, that we allow our youth to express themselves. You know, um, that's so important in different ages and different stages. I even remember uh, seeing different girls wear their different hair colors. Oh yes. You know, uh, the Kool Aid colors, the pink, the blue, the green. Like all of that is so important. You know, they do it still with their clothing. Yes. Uh, their shoes. Uh, there are different eyeglasses, like you, yes. Tracy. That's a form of self-expression. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, you know, it's also a form of self-care. So it is time for our self-care stretch. It's um, by Changes by Lady Bree. Everybody, let's just take some deep breaths in and out. We're going to stretch our arms out to our strong friends. I'm going to touch you, girl, because you have a strong That's friend. Me. Yes. And you know, we're going to cross over and bring it in to your heart. This is all about you. Listen to your heartbeat. Can you feel it? I feel it. And you know, it is important to feel it because we just take it for granted. Yes, we do. Your heart is expressing itself. Yes. <laughs> My heart's good. <laughs> when you take your heartbeats, think about your daily affirmation words. Be intentional. Repeat that word to yourself inside and out. Take another deep breath and out. And the last thing that we do, we hug, hug yourself. <laughs> Give yourself a deep hug. Yes, indeed. Yes, release. Love on yourself first. Yes, every day. Every single day. And do it a yes. couple of times a day if you yes. have to. A couple of it times. Works. Yes, it works. Yes, indeed. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. You know, Tracy, just Woke Wednesday. Yes. Just, you know, just the title gets us going. So I feel fantastic. I can't wait to talk to our girl. Because right. you never know, I might get on one of them things. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Of course. You know what? It's You're never too old to get never. something new. Yes. You're never too old to get something new. That's a whole brand. We're going to have to talk to her about that, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, it's time for our guest. When we return, get ready. When we will talk to our Vibe Revive guest, Valencia Miller. And she is, of course, the owner and the artist of Onyx. Ta Onyx. Onyx. It's Onyx. Yes. Ta Dagger Tattoo Gallery. Life. It's all about the journey. Life's curves, hitting the road fast or slow. Celebrations, anniversaries, and birthdays. Everything in life is about moving forward. Whatever direction you choose to go, go far, go in style. New or used, go with Frazier Automotive. school is more of a social thing than it was an academic thing. Even though all these years have passed, I still had that longing to have my diploma. I have a mentor and she convinced me to continue my education. No one receives a diploma alone. 
If you're even considering getting your high school diploma, go get it. You can do it. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. And as promised, we welcome owner and artist of Onyx Dagger Tattoo and Art Gallery, the Valencia Miller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Look good at morning. you, beautiful. You, re oh, you ready? You. Yes, she is. <laughs> thank you. Yes, she thank is. you. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the first thank thing you. I have to ask, what you sipping on? What's in your cup? <laughs> I am having black coffee companies, black coffee with a dash of sugar, a little dash of cream, but um, it yes. still tastes pretty black, like I like it. So. <laughs> you like Tracy, she said yeah. black like I like it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And there's nothing wrong with a little dash of sugar yeah, and a little, little dash of right, cream. Right, right. Yeah, break it, 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 it matches, it matches your aura, honey. <laughs> oh, Just a little dash yeah. of that and dash of this. First black female tattoo shop owner in the state of Missouri. Girl, you doing a thing. <laughs> yes. What made you say yes to this vision? Well, first black female tattoo shop owner in the city and state of Missouri. I just want to make that. That's right. Tattoo. We got you. Um, male. But uh, it, it, it started as I've always been an entrepreneur in some way, shape or form over the years, but mm -hmm. mainly moving to St. Louis about seven years ago. Uh, it was interesting to see the dynamic and the growth of the city at the time. I moved here from Hawaii at a very um, transitional time for the, the city and transitional I say that in a good way yes meaning at first it seemed to be racially divisive in so many ways right, even filtering right. down to what that's, I that's do that's the truth okay. mm -hmm. and um, I felt that there was a need for me to have to open up and a part of the city which at the time was South City St. Yes. Louis and reinvigorate the neighborhood because I believe be very firmly in that. Yeah, be a part yeah. of the shift. So amazing. Shift um, happened. Yeah. <laughs> and that's shift, S-H-I-F-T. Yeah, right. yeah. Shift, shift happened. Happen. Happen. You know, yeah. I want to know, are there trends when it comes to tattoos? Because uh, I know yeah. some people have uh, names, some people have uh, cartoon characters, some people have other people's faces. Are there trends? Yes, uh, they, I would say that there are trends that change. They come and go yes. quickly, in particular nowadays with the advent of tattoo reality shows, yes. which weren't right. around when I first started. And certain celebrities might get these little tiny tattoos and some people want them. But the good thing about my clientele and the clientele of my artists at Onyx Dagger, we're primarily a custom shop. Okay. So Got it. we're not gonna turn you down on what you want, but you have to really be know committed and know what you want. So I like that. I like she said be too. committed yeah. um, because uh, people yes. will back out. You know, they're yeah. like, I don't know. <laughs> I, want a, I want a sunflower, but I don't want the whole sunflower. I don't want the seeds. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> the we seeds are painful. <laughs> yes, definitely. And people tend to know, though. I find that my clientele nowadays, they, they're seeking us out. They're coming from across the country, actually, wow. to get tattooed. And okay. myself and all of my artists, we are actually artists as well as tattooists at the same yes. time simultaneously so you can design a tattoo yes oh my goodness now some people uh they have a uh, it's a whole sleeve yes a sleeve. Sleeve. now yes. does a sleeve is that um when you say commitment yes do you have to come <laughs> in and do it in several sessions or is it it depends okay most sleeves yes are going to take multiple tattoo sessions yes um, people will pre-plan those out and I usually tell people, give me several things that if they don't know what they exactly right. want. Because I would say 50 to 60% of people really know what they want. Yes. Because again, it's not like, you know, buying a hamburger. It's right. like buying a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yes, it's on you for yes. a lifetime. It's on you, you for it. life. You own it. Yes. You know, yes. You, you just said something um, about the process. I know oftentimes, people are always spontaneous. You know, they go to Vegas or you go like, I know I have cerebral tattoos and I thought mine out. I, I did, I was one of those who <laughs> thought, thought, thought them out. Mm -hmm. um, and I was very intentional also about the artists. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about the artists that are in your shop, in your gallery. Well, there is myself and Dean Schultz, who has been tattooing for about 14 or 15 years. Uh, Jeremy Lambert also, he's been with the shop for 
several years now. Um, he's been tattooing about 15 or 16 years. Seasoned. They yes. both do all styles, but they primarily like to specialize in fine line black and gray like myself okay. and portraiture. And on the side, they paint. So Dean, he tends to, he still does commission artwork okay. like for people outside of tattooing. And Jeremy, he loves spending time with his family and also tattooing large scale pieces. Family, yes. So whole families come in and get tattoos. Uh, Is that a well, thing? Well, sometimes. <laughs> it's interesting. A few times I've tattooed, you know, a mother and daughter or mother, father and son, okay. or a couple of people in the family want something to commemorate because they might be visiting right. St. Louis and they are seeing each other for the first time in years. Yes, they, they get do. like yeah. those infinity things. Yes, well, I have like a that. question. So, you know, girl, when you're young and, and you're in love with somebody, I love <laughs> Devin, <laughs> and now your husband's name is Kevin. Yes. Do you retool, or I what does that look like? I have done that several times. Okay. <laughs> um, not myself, personally, okay. I, meaning helped other people. I call it changing lives. Okay. You know? okay. Queen of cover-ups is what they also like Queen to know. Queen of cover-ups. Cover yeah. I because like that. Some people don't like to, some artists don't want to do a cover-up. It depends on, now if it's an artist I know personally, I'm not going to touch their work. Um, but if it's someone I don't know personally, and this person got it done 20 years ago, <laughs> right. they can't look at that person they right. Get, right. that they got it for, or whatever the case may be, because people get some very interesting things. <laughs> I will cover it up for them. So yes. even if you go to my website or Instagram, you can see that I will gladly put up, here is the, the before. so and so's yes. name. <laughs> and I had one young lady a couple years ago who had like seven names. Oh, I know. We, no. we telling you all <laughs> this, telling your business. Okay. We won't name yes. that person. <laughs> right. But she wanted to add another oh one. Goodness. I was like, okay, okay. so okay. you might just be just about that life. I let us go for it. She got yes. a scroll. She said she'll <laughs> never forget <laughs> them. Maybe so she's a black fair widow. Enough. Okay. <laughs> she just has like but a list. That's, that's so interesting because, you know, through life, you, you may start off doing one thing, you might do something else. Now, um, I have a question for you, my dear. Yes. I noticed that you have a, you have to give me the appropriate name for it. It's a heart. Uh, it's a subdermal implant. Subdermal so. implant. Love yes. It. So it's um, like a silicone implant. It's mainly for aesthetics. Okay. So yes. when I initially got this implant many years ago, uh, well over a decade, maybe 15 or so years ago, it was for me to, in a way, translate, like, uh, there's a African tribe that does scarification. Yes. yes. Not all people of color keloid. That is actually right. a very common myth. A lot right. of people of color hear that when they go get a tattoo, like, oh, you might keloid. That is not everyone. It's a very small percentage of us, actually. Interesting. But in any event, I didn't know if I would keloid or not, and I found out about this new pr procedure, and a friend of mine and great body modification artist named Tr Steve Truitt, who is based out of New Mexico, he came wow. out to Hawaii, and he did my implant. I love it. And you always have beautiful. your heart with you, girl. Yes. It's right there. <laughs> yes. and, and I do wear my heart on my sleeve. I like and that. And it's about, you know, and symbolism. Yes, for indeed. me, it was for, you know, especially back then, a lot of people weren't talking about people of color who were getting body art and body Absolute modification right. done. And I wanted to show it can not only be beautiful and lovely, but it is for you. Absolutely. Yes. But also it should be with the intent of being able to see it from a certain distance. Mm. Because no matter your color, you can get tattooed or you yes. can get modified and it can look beautiful as long as the person who does your work designs it with the intent of being able to see it from three feet away. Yeah, that's away. why you should go to professionals. Yes, I, yes. yes. I think that's really important. Yes. Um, you do tear, uh, piercings as well? Well, I don't personally do piercings, but they can be done in right. other shops here in St. Louis, and I will soon have a piercer coming aboard. Yeah. You know, I have a question. You know, we are, our melanin is different, so some skin is much, much darker, some mm -hmm. is much lighter. Do you have to adjust the ink? Well, I wouldn't say adjust the ink. Number one is the design. Okay. Got it. So when someone looks at my work, they're going to first notice, they'll be like, that is a flower. Oh, That's yes. a lotus. Beautiful. Because oh. there's negative space yes. involved. And there so is. So we're adding color naturally. Yes. And you can, and almost 99% of all people of color can have the same colors. There are just certain colors that show up better yes. on her skin tone, depending on the skin tone. So I only have two color tattoos, mm -hmm. my whole thigh 
but it has all the plethora of colors. It does. Just it's so beautiful. I can show people. Okay, this is what this color will but look like. But you know like. what? That means you got to keep your legs in shape, girl. Your <laughs> legs are in shape. She's beautiful. You go, yes. You know, people Thank have you. the tattoos, and you're like, okay, now. I, you know, but I think that um, one of the things about expression is we do come in all shades yes, and all do. sizes. And yes. I must say that, um, you know, in all transparency, I, I have a tattoo in a, in a, in a space that, I've had three children. So my strawberry at one time looked like an apple. <laughs> and then it went back to a strawberry, um, fortunately. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and it went back to size. And, yes. and I think that's unique that our skin stretches and it yes. goes back. So even when people get like tattooed eyebrows and stuff like that, when they gain weight, does that shift? Well, when doing eyebrows, there's a huge uh, popularity in the last few years to get microblading done. Mm, right. Um, I myself, I do some permanent makeup, but that's not my focus because I prefer to do large scale tattooing. But there is a difference between getting your eyebrows tattooed and the microblading, which is semi-permanent. Mm. Got it. And the semi-permanence of it, it just really depends on who does it. It only yeah. goes into a certain level. That, that speaks skin. to experts. It speaks to experts. Um, I know we wanted to talk about educating and empowering our young mm -hmm. mothers and the uh, LGBTQ uh, plus community. Yes people of color when it comes to art and commerce speak briefly to that well i want I to say the whole conversation for real. oh yes uh, uh, well as a mother who has a child or and a stepchild that is in the community and is a proud parent of, or, or as they call p-flag parent i don't want to seem like that one parent's like yes, yes but you can do anything you want okay yes. number one mm -hmm. you just do everything to the best of your ability that part be yes. consistent and yes. you do not have to explain yourself to anyone you can be proud of who you are whether it's black white red whatever but in particular if you're of color and in particular if you're in the lgbtqia plus community, community being showing your pride is doing the best in anything you do and so when you do that no Ooh. one can say anything to you ever I love and it. you don't have to explain yourself to anyone or anything but show your pride so when I go out I am I love my melanin I love my blackness I love my features yes. but I don't have to explain we to anybody too. why Look, I love those. We have a nonprofit <laughs> yes. and our movement says I define me. Yes, and that's that means I would I love to work I with it. white, tall, short, thick or thin, hazelnut, blend, cantaloupe skin. I Look, love open it. up that multicultural Crayola box. You find your color. Yes. That means you a sister or, or a brother. brother. I you love know? It. And you know what, Mom? You understand the assignment. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. I love you being here because <laughs> Thank you, you bring Thank you for having me. some information for all of us. And you know, all this beauty and the tattoos and the artistry. Oh, yes. thank you. I have to ask you, what's your affirmation word? What's that word that gets you going every day? Well, you know, uh, I have actually a, a, a saying that okay. I've been saying okay. the last few years, and I want to remind people, number one, don't live to work, but work to live. And when Perfect. you learn to do that, everything falls into place, and you're happy in whatever you do. Yes, you do. Yes. And Educate yourself and however you may be beyond Google. That's right. <laughs> yes. beyond. Learn some languages, travel, do whatever you can in reason, and things will always fall in place. And be a good person. Always. As good as you can. Always. <laughs> How Absolutely. can everybody stay connected to you? Tell us the website. Well, uh, my the information, web whatever, so Instagram. Because <laughs> you're, you're all about pictures, you're visual. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my Instagram is Miss V Tattoo. That's on IG, that's M-I-S-S-V -S -S, as in Victor, tattoo. And our website is Onyx, O-N-Y-X, dagger, D-A-G-G-E-R, okay. S-T-L dot com. Girl, we're going to put it all below. And <laughs> check, we're located, check it below. Check it below. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And we're located on uh, Park Avenue and Lafayette Square. So come check us out. We're by appointment only, but you can easily book a consultation with any, myself or any of the My artists anytime. Only. I like My it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank well, you so much. Yes, we thank you for um, coming thank on. You Let me for tell y'all something. We have just, we've learned so much. Yes. Yes. So we can now refer others with the knowledge. I, yes. And can I say one more thing? Please. Yes. Um, I also tattoo on Virgin Atlantic, so I'm hoping you ladies will come on the next cruise, uh -oh. which will be the Scarlet Lady or the Resilient Lady that's either in Miami or Europe. St stay tuned, So Virgin Voyages. We're going to have some exclusives so, yes. coming. Because I would and love to have you. Yes. Loves an exclusive. <laughs> when yes. we return, get ready for Thank the you. own Your Now Flow.
Jason, let's go see your room. No margin for error. Dare to forget that. Dare to have fun with it. Get weird with it. Dare to load their minds. Dare to explore. Dare to stem. Learn more at She Can Stem. Worried about your friend but don't know how to reach out? You can say how are you or get a fake tattoo. You can ask with an app if it works for you. You can chat with them in VR. It's so good if you think you should check in. Yeah, you should. Whatever, whatever, whatever you talking. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Whatever, whatever, whatever you talking. Learn how you can help at SeizeTheAwkward.org. And we are now back with the Own Your Now Flow. Lady, yo, yes. Valencia, we got a new niece. We have a new niece, and girl, she can give us some new art. Okay, okay. you know, I just got another one. I know you did. And I said I was done. I thought I was done, but you know, I just said, I said in the beginning, you're never too old to get something new, so I might just be giving me something new. Oh, I'll go with you and hold your hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank Valencia again, the founder of Onyx Dagger Tattoo and Art Gallery, y'all. Custom, y'all. Yes. The first lady-owned, black lady-owned female in the state of Missouri. I just want y'all to know, you all need to follow her on Instagram and share, 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 and share some more. She bad, baby. She's bad. Yes, She's bad. yes. Speaking of bad, yes. Lady O, hey. what is your affirmation word for today? After talking to this young lady and just seeing all the artwork, beauty. beauty. And beauty comes in all forms. There's no certain thing that uh, defines beauty. That's you right. define your own beauty. You, you know, we always say that. You define your own beauty. So beauty. You define your own beauty, y'all. That's what it looks like when you decide to have a form of self-expression. Always look inside and make those decisions and understand that no one else can define you but you. You are beautiful. You define beauty. And the other thing is think about the things that you want to do and how you want to express yourself. Don't work to live. Live to work. Until next time, keep your cups full. Go out and create some vibrant vibes and keep sipping on peace, love, and positivity. And remember, tomorrow isn't promised, so own your now.